Hello and welcome back to my channel. Today I'll be talking about the compounds that make up antiperspirants. In the last video I talked about what a deodorant is, what antiperspirants are and how the compounds in deodorants bond together. In this video I'll be focusing more on antiperspirants. So let's go over what a deodorant is and what antiperspirants are. So deodorants help reduce body odour but they do this by targeting bacteria under your arms that produce various bad smelling compounds. And so antiperspirants fight body odour by cutting down on sweating. And so this happens because antiperspirants include aluminium and zirconium based compounds which prevent you from sweating. But because it also has aluminium and zirconium compounds, it's also dangerous as it is found to um, make people have breast cancer and other diseases. So first we have aluminium chlorohydrate and the chemical formula for it is Al2ClH10O5 and so this is the chemical structure of it and so we've looked at oxygen, hydrogen and also chlorine before but we haven't looked at aluminium. And so aluminium was discovered in 1825 by Danish chemist Hans Christian. So aluminium is in group 3, meaning it needs 5 more bonds, but this is where it gets a little bit tricky. So, there's something called the octet rule, and basically the octet rule is that the first 20 elements of the periodic table, when they bond, they want to combine with each other to get full valent shells. So they want to have 8 bonds in their valent shell, apart from hydrogen and helium, because hydrogen and helium are the first 2 elements in the periodic table, and they just need 2 bonds, as the first valent shell only has two bonds. And so the two elements that fail to complete the octet rule are both in group 3, so boron element 5 and in this case aluminium element 13. And so these two elements both only want to form compounds with six valence electrons and not eight valence electrons. And so we are looking at aluminium and so aluminium now we can see only needs three bonds. Because, but in this case, the aluminium atom is charged, and you can tell because if you see a plus in the chemical formula, or if you see a plus in the chemical structure. See, here this aluminium atom has one bond to this oxygen atom, one bond to this oxygen atom, one bond to this oxygen atom, so that's three bonds to three different oxygen atoms, and a final bond to another aluminium atom. And the same goes with this aluminium atom. However, this aluminium atom only has one bond to the aluminium at other aluminium atom and two bonds to two oxygen atoms and it has to a bond to a chlorine atom. And so chlorine, once again we've already talked about this, has one bond. A hydrogen only has one bond as well and oxygen has two bonds, oxygen this bond to the hydrogen atom and this bond to the aluminium atom. So next we have aluminium formate and so this is the chemical structure for aluminium formate. And the chemical formula for it is C3H3AlO6. And so this time we don't have any new elements. We have looked at carbon and hydrogen and oxygen many times before, and we just went over aluminium. So you know that we know that carbon needs four bonds. This carbon atom has one bond to the hydrogen atom, one bond to the oxygen atom, and a double bond to this oxygen atom. We know that hydrogen only needs one bond, this hydrogen atom has a bond to a carbon atom. We know that oxygen only needs two bonds, so this oxygen atom has one bond to this carbon atom and one bond to this aluminium atom, and this oxygen atom has a double bond to a carbon atom, and same with this oxygen atom has a double bond to a carbon atom. And we just learned that aluminium needs three bonds, but this time we're dealing with a normal aluminium atom, not a positive charged aluminium atom or a negatively charged atom. So this Aluminium atom has one bond to an oxygen, another bond to an oxygen, and another bond to an oxygen. And so the final ingredient in antiperspirants is aluminium zirconium chloride hydroxide. And so there are many different types of aluminium and zirconium based compounds, such as aluminium zirconium tetrahydroxyglycine. And so they are all similar compounds. And so this ingredient is a mixture of different compounds. And so the chemical formula for aluminium zirconium chloride hydroxide is Al2Cl7H7O7Zr2. As we just looked at aluminium, and so this aluminium 
atom has one bond to an oxygen atom, another bond to an oxygen atom, and one bond to a chlorine atom. And we know that hydrogen only has one bond, so just this hydrogen atom has one bond to the oxygen atom. We know that oxygen has two bonds, so this oxygen atom has two different bonds to one hydrogen atom and one aluminium atom. And so we've come across chlorine many times, not as many times as oxygen and hydrogen, but we've come across it again and again. So this chlorine atom has one bond to this zirconium atom, and so this chlorine atom has one bond to this aluminium atom. And so we haven't looked at zirconium before. And so zirconium was discovered by German chemist Martin Klaproff in 1789. And so zirconium is in group 4 and it's also in the transition metals. And so because zirconium is in group 4, it has 4 bonds to complete its valence shell. So let's take a look at this zirconium atom. Now this zirconium atom has 2 different bonds to 2 oxygen atoms here, and 2 different bonds to 2 chlorine atoms here. So that means it has 4 total bonds. And so those are all the compounds and mixtures that make up antiperspirants.